everyone, Sandy here. Welcome back to 13 Frights Before Halloween 2022. This is week number three, and I'm going to show you how to make this really cute, adorable little party favor treat box shaped like a tombstone. Stay tuned. Okay, to make this little treat box, I've already pre-cut my papers. I will give you the measurements. This one I made with elements I had in my stash that were pre-made. So if you have something like this, the little skull that's already pre-made, I did add some um, Nouveau Crystal Glaze to the eyes. On this one, this is a plastic ring spider. The rest in peace, the rip was uh, cut with my Cricut Joy, which I'm going to do for this one that I'm going to make, but I also cut elements with my Cricut Joy. So I just want to give you a different idea. And I know that you probably can find these little boxes with SVG files or for Cricut files, but I'm going to show you how to make it if you don't have one. I am making my little tombstone treat box out of um, Authentique, some older paper from Authentique. So you want a, a really good design paper if you're going to use, make it out of patterned paper, or you can make it out of cardstock, like, like out of a gray, uh, if you want to make it more of a real tombstone color. So I'm going to use the pattern. I'm using this one here with the little tombstones. It's the same one that I used on my last project. I had a little bit of it on that one. So you need to cut a piece that is 2 inches by 11. You need a piece that is 2 and a half wide by 6 and a half tall and another piece that's 2 and a half wide by only 5 inches tall. This one's set aside. There's no scoring on this one. You'll notice I made my direction going this way. You can do whichever you want. This is going to be the curve, which will be at the top. So on the sides, it's going to be sideways. The top, it's going to be, so it just depends on how you want it to look. So I'm going to take this one. You take your two inch side. You're going to score this first. Take your two inch side, put it in at the top, and you're going to score at a half inch. and one and a half. That gives you a half inch score on each side. I'm going to go through it over it again to make sure that I've got it in good. Half inch, one and a half. Okay, so we have that. I'll go ahead and fold it so that I can see it. And then flatten it back out. Okay, so now we have that. You're going to turn it on your 11 inch side. You're going to score it a half inch and 10 and a half. That gives you a half inch on each end. Okay, then you're going to score at three and a half, but just to the half inch line. It's just a little half inch score long line. Three and a half and at seven and a half. You don't want to go across the middle. Okay, so turn it again. Three and a half, just to the score line, and seven and a half. So they should be, when you fold it, across from each other, like that, but you don't want to score in there, okay? I know I folded it, but it's still not a score line. Then take your two and a half inch wide by six and a half inch. You need to put the your bottom over here. So score it at a half inch and one and a half. So if I get that wrong. Just on the bottom edge. Half inch and one and a half. So I want you to take your scissors and go ahead. And from this right here, just do a very, very tiny miter cut. And right there. So like on your half inch, cut that in. And then this one here, we're going to just cut in just a tiny bit. Okay, like that. Cut in just a tiny bit. And like that. So we have a kind of a little slant there. Okay, that makes it go in easier. So set that aside. Now we're going to take this one. Okay, you're going to cut out the 
corners on each end. That little half inch corner right here. So you cut up to the half inch and then cut that out. So you're going to do that on all four sides. It's a little hard for you to see my score lines. But we're cutting these out like this. Okay, whoops, I did that one. Okay, same over here. I'm just folding it so I can see it. Cut the score line to the half inch line and then cut out a square. So you end up having like this. Okay, I'll go ahead and move my scoreboard out of the way. I'm going to fold this. I'm going to go ahead and give a slight miter on this little tab. Fold, slight miter. Okay, and fold and slight miter right there. Okay, so that's those. Now then, to get the curve, I'm going to take my bone folder and from this fold line here and this one here, so it's like that, I'm going to just kind of do a curve with my bone folder to kind of get that curve going for the top of the tombstone. Now you've got excess paper here that you've got to cut away. So where each half inch score line is, just cut the line up to the half inch, not all the way across. So stop right there making four cuts. I'll show you just a second where they are. It's on that score line that you made. So you have a cut here, a cut here, here, and here. Just like that. Okay? This one's off just a little bit here. I'm going to go in and recut that. And then you cut it into a triangle. So all of these section here in between, we're going to cut these triangles up to, so you're cutting these V's out up to that score line right there where my thumb is. You're going to do that on both sides. So I'm going to do one side and then I'll speed up the camera, the video, and do the other side. Show you this one. So it's between those score lines that you cut. Okay, so it's like that. So now I'm going to do the other side. Okay, so now we have those cut. We're ready to start putting our little box together. So we've got this curve here. We're going to push all these little tabs back, these little triangles. Push them back towards the inside. Okay, just like that. We have your half inch here, half inch here on both sides. Okay, so we're going to take this piece right here and we're going to glue the back side of it to this side of the attachment piece. And you've got to be careful and line up this score line right here with this score line here. Okay, so I'm going to put my glue right here on this tab section. Starting this off. Make sure the edge of this fits along the folded edge, the score line, and make sure the two lines here at the bottom match. Right there. <laughs> it's hard to see with this pattern. 
Okay, this score line matches with this score line. So you have a half inch here and one and a half there. And then this has got to go right here along that edge. Now then we're going to take glue and I'm going to put glue on this tab here and then on each little triangle okay so take this one here and this side make sure it's lining up with the score line right there and right along the edge the score line folded score line and the cut edge of the back piece here so it should look like that your little triangle should fall in place and press them all down so now you have that curve in there I'm just going to make sure they're all in just like that and if it slipped a little bit let's get that back in line right there okay now then we take the scissors and we're going to trim this piece up here I'll make sure they're stuck down though first gotta be sure they're glued down if you want to wait a second and let them dry make sure it is in and got that curve okay now then we're ready to cut this excess piece sticking up off just cut right along the top of the curve like that there's a little wonky make sure if you've got one that's not curved the way you want it go ahead and curve it and then cut it trim it a little bit more once you have the curve the way you want it and you've trimmed the top right there like that now we're ready to put this piece on the same way so I'm just putting glue on this half inch tab here and this one down at the bottom and then I'm putting glue on each triangle take your piece make sure you're paying attention to the direction and line this bottom edge with the folded edge of your tab piece here on each side sure they're lined up put my finger in there kind of line them up right there on that straight edge right there then this piece should fall down onto it make sure it's kind of straight okay Gently burnish that. Kind of reach in there if you can with your bone folder if it's long enough and get all those little tabs attached down. Okay, and once that's where you want it to be, right, whoops, there, just making sure they're kind of in the same curve. Take a ruler and reach in there and make sure they're all pressed down. Hold it here at the top. Okay, now then we cut this excess on this one the same way all the way around.
And there we have that little piece like that. Now we're ready to fold up this bottom. This inserts here, and that tab closes like that. There we have our little tombstone. Okay, I made a mistake on this one, and I put my decorating on the back because I want the tab to be in the back. It works out okay, but like if you ended up wanting to put a little tape on it or something, you want it in the back. So now we're ready to decorate and make sure my tab insert is on the back side and this is where I'll put my decorations. So for this one I cut a little skull with my Cricut Joy. If you have a stick skull sticker like this one was a pre-made one from a ephemera piece. I'm just going to glue that there and I added some little googly eyes so I'm going to glue that there on the bottom and I put a piece of black cardstock on the back to uh, make his eyes show up. So I'm just going to glue him right here kind of towards the bottom. Open this up so I can burnish. Get that on good. So cute. Okay. Now, then the rest in piece, the RIP, is going to glue right there. And I'm going to get my fine tip glue on this one. I and the P. Now, if you don't have a Cricut or Cricut Joy or a machine to cut out the, the word letters, you could use sticker letters or you could just leave them off if you don't have any. Just decorate it up with whatever you have. Isn't that cute? I love that. Now the ghost, I'm going to put it here on this side because I kind of got it off right here and I want to kind of hide that up. So I'm just going to put glue on this bottom part. Now he was cut with my Cricut Joy also. I just looked for a ghost or Halloween files that I could um, cut out, put on my mat. And then for this one I have a sparkly spider. I think I'm going to kind of overlap him a little bit. It was a button, so I cut the shank off the back. He's plastic with glitter on him. Put a good amount of glue on him. And I'm just going to attach him right there. And let him dry. And that is the little tombstone. Add some candies. The way that the candies will hold it down in place. Got to let him dry. Okay, so that's it. Uh, also on this one, I did sand it, so once it's dried really good, the spider and everything, you want to sand the edges you can to kind of distress it a little bit. I did on this one. It shows up more on the black. But there is your candy treat boxes. Little tombstones. A lot of fun to make. So I hope you enjoy this. Remember to um, check out all the other YouTube channels that are in this collab that are collaboration that are making a project every week for the 13 weeks of Halloween. Also, if you make something, use that hashtag um, Sandy's 13, the number 13, Frights Before Halloween 2022. I'll put that on the screen and also in the description below. You can use that to tag your Halloween uh, YouTube videos if you're sharing a project or even on Facebook or Instagram. Use that hashtag to share what you've been making for the 13 Frights Before Halloween. So it is an open collaboration, so you can do that. And check out all the channels that are listed below in my description. They'll have some fabulous projects too. Um, they'll have these every week on Monday. So the next one will be next Monday, which will be on the 22nd of August, which will be week number four already four weeks in so check back then for my project and for everyone else's be sure to subscribe to everybody's channel if you haven't already click on the bells that sends you notifications every time something's uploaded leave comments 
thumbs up, give us a like, let us know if you like our projects. Thanks so much, everybody. See you next week. Bye-bye.